I legitimately need to lay down this blanket because my feet, do you hear this? They're like so sticky against the floor. Hola muchachos, welcome here. I have been looking forward to doing this video. I love doing minimalism content. It's seriously like my favoriteest content to do. So if you like that content, you should be sure to subscribe. But with minimalism, everyone talks about things they get rid of, that they don't buy, that they don't use. They do a lot of declutters. Also, I have a closet declutter and like a whole house declutter coming very soon for you guys. PSA, anyway. But not too many people talk about the things that actually minimalists usually buy more of. And I know that kind of sounds like counterintuitive, like, really? I thought minimalists were supposed to buy less of things. In most cases, yes. And you can see that throughout my channel. I'll have my minimalist playlist linked down below. But there definitely are some things that I buy more of, and here is why. In today's video, we're talking about a bunch of things that I actually buy more of as a minimalist. This isn't so much like consumerism, things I buy more of, but things I buy more of now. Now, our lighting just went away. I don't even remember what I was saying. What in the world was I saying? You guys get the idea. Okay, this video was inspired by Ashlyn Eaton's video. She is the minimalist queen, and I will link her video down below. She's the best. Like, honestly, Ashlyn, if you're watching this, honey, you're the best. Just love you so much. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's get started. build it on myself. This is perfect. Just like Ashlyn, I buy way more plants as a minimalist. It is something that benefits your house, kind of benefits your soul beyond just like a silly knickknack. There is something about having plants that you can take care of. It's kind of like, honestly, it is a maternal instinct, whether you're a woman or not, like to take care of something. Actually, it's more womanly, but like there's some, there's some guys who take care of things too. There's a ton of guys that do that, but like specifically for ladies, plants are amazing. And I do own a good amount of plants and like the days when I water my plants when I take care of my plants where I like repot my plants those are happy days and I feel like as a minimalist it is a great decor piece that is so much better than like a knickknack something that collects lots of dust and doesn't really do anything for you. Plants can clean your air, therefore balance your air. They look so nice. You can take nature outside, bring it in and enjoy it. I think decor wise, plants are just such a great option. This is like my propagation little shelf. I'm propagating some pothos right now and like, I just enjoy it. It's a hobby, it keeps me busy and it's not silly or unnecessary. I really like plants. I've always liked plants, but becoming a minimalist, I've loved plant like I just I love plants <laughs> number two is experiences we buy way more experiences being of a more minimalist mindset because experiences don't consume in your house in a way that's very cluttered and it's like you know experiences just it's in your head you're consuming memories and I said this before consume memories not items and I mean that so we spend quite a bit of money when it comes to like passes trips traveling not so much now going places we really like spending money on experiences and we put a lot of money into it because firstly we can and secondly because our house isn't stuffed to the brim with stuff to entertain us it kind of in a lot of ways forces us to go outside and do something outside of these walls which I just think is fantastic we've experienced so much cool stuff beyond these walls since being minimalists and I love putting my money towards those things number three is thrifted items before becoming minimalist I feel like well here's the thing being a minimalist changes your whole mindset towards everything. Where do things come from? What are they made of? How are they made? How long will they last? We think through these things. And when I became a minimalist, I was introduced to fast fashion and what happens in that industry. So I started thrifting because honestly, honestly, I couldn't afford ethical clothing. It was very expensive. I remember buying like one ethical clothing piece maybe a year or every six months, like something I really truly needed. But beyond that, I thrifted and since being minimalist I thrift almost pretty much everything like honestly and truly if I need something the first place I go to look is the thrift store I purchased 10 times more thrifted goods since being a minimalist than before you also just find really cool things at a thrift store and the best thing about being a minimalist and shopping at a thrift store is that things aren't presented to you when you go to a normal store things are set up and put out and the lights it's fancy and that pulls you in but when you go to a thrift store you have to hunt 
on your hands and knees sometimes to try to find things. So usually when you come to a thrift store, you don't look all around and go, I need this, I need this, I need this. You might find one thing, but it's a really good one thing and you will really like it and benefit from it. Do you know what I mean? Does any of this make sense? I hope this is making sense. Number four is ethical clothing. I had to put this in here. Like I said before, minimalism changes your mindset about a bunch of things, especially the way that you shop. I wasn't willing to buy anything from a fast fashion store. So like no Walmart, no Old Navy, no Forever 21, no H&M, no Nike, mm -mm. So like I said, I would go to a thrift store first, see if I could find what I was looking for. If I couldn't find it, then I would start doing some more ethical shopping, small shops, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But I seriously didn't buy ethical clothing until I became a minimalist and realized firstly, the importance of it, but also I would much rather, especially as a minimalist, have two pairs of jeans that are high quality, really awesome, durable, gonna last me forever, versus have 20 pair of jeans that are cheap, falling apart, and don't really look too good. A lot of minimalism has to do with high quality items and putting your money towards things that will last you a long time, that you really love, and they satisfy your everything. When it comes to that item, like you're not buying jeans after jeans being like, can I try just try buying? the right ones you just put all your money towards that one jean you really love that fits you well and enjoy it and then you only have two pairs of jeans that fill up your drawers you know it's just less I still don't know if any of this is making sense you got you got me I feel like you got me you got me this one was huge reusable items so with minimalism comes that whole ethical thing and a lot of sustainability. It's huge in the whole minimalism world. One use items I have greatly reduced in my life and over time I have bought lots of reusable items. I'm talking about like stasher bags, reusable straws, no paper towel, doing a lot of cloth diapering. Minimalism gives you a whole different mindset. And then I realized I've been saving a lot of money just buying reusable items because you buy them once and then you're done versus buying them over and over and over again and things just piling up in the landfill and going to waste. I love my reusable items. My favorite reusable items would have to be stasher bags and then also my reusable cotton rounds. They're so good. Next is, and I've said this again, we're like a broken record, high quality everything. Me and Kieran, that's my husband, we don't cheap out on anything. We buy high quality everything. And the reason for that is because firstly, we've saved so much money so we can. And secondly, we're here to buy really nice things that will last us a really long time. We're not here for the brands. We're not here for the logos. We're not here for the trends. We're here for seriously awesome items. Again, being a minimalist, you start focusing on these things way more than you did maybe before. We buy nice phones. We buy a nice TV. We buy nice clothes. We buy really nice food. We can't find any excuse now to cheap out on some things. Um, sometimes money wise, we could maybe buy something a little bit cheaper because maybe we're a little tight on money, but then we're like, no, no, let's wait a bit. Let's save up our money and then buy what we would really like to have and something that'll last us for a long time or will benefit us more than another item that maybe we kind of like cheaped out on. Next is books. And like, I have no issue saying if you're gonna put your money towards something, let it be literature, let it be books. We literally just don't buy our kids toys. Like it's, it's not very often we ever buy our kids toys. We buy our kids books and they prefer it like that. My kids are book people. Like they'll sit and look at a book forever. They will have hours of book time. They love it. So we buy a lot of books for the kids. Uh, definitely it improves the way they talk. It improves the way they think. It just opens their eyes to so many great skills that they will be using and that their brains need in order to function and grow like as time goes on. And then also later on, you need to read to your kids. If you have kids, you need to read to your kids. It's so brutally important. And then for me and Kieran, we, we like reading. I do not have enough time to read. I I really truly don't. I wish we had 28 hour days so I could fit in a couple hours of reading every single day. I struggle with it because I have an extremely busy tight schedule, but I love books. They are just hugely beneficial. They do look nice on a bookshelf. And again, I'm not a knickknack person. I like plants and I like books on my bookshelves. Something that is of use. And like, I guess it looks good, but overall, 
it's it's the use factor that I'm looking at and that's what I'm going for books they're just they're just useful and we use them if you are wanting to be a minimalist you might freak out and be like I have to give away all this stuff and I use it all the time no you do not have to if you have items you use all the time keep them we're focusing in on the items that you don't use but you just have okay so <laughs> next I'm kind of going back on what I've said previously we never had like a subscription service for like anything besides Netflix. We had Netflix and we didn't like Netflix. Honestly, Netflix is so lame. We're also in Canada. We have Canadian Netflix. It's pretty lame. When we had US Netflix, it was like <sighs> still pretty lame. We don't watch a lot of movies or TV shows anyway, so I guess this all makes sense. <laughs> I watch YouTube videos. Like, I really like YouTube videos. Anyway, we decided as a family to buy Disney Plus. Wow. Firstly, we are saving so much money. So the kids, once a week, we watch a movie all together, and that's Friday nights. That's the only day that we watch a movie. Friday night movie night. And we used to rent DVDs, like on Google Play or Amazon or whatever, and we'd rent them for like five bucks a piece. And I was like, Karen, we're spending 20 bucks for movie nights and we don't even like keep them. You know, like we can't rewatch them. We, we rented them. You can watch it for 24 hours and then you're done. And then we were like, maybe we should start buying some DVDs. And it was like, no, like I don't want to store DVDs. I hate DVDs. And then my brother and my sister-in-law were like, yeah, we like Disney Plus. And we were like, well, let's try it. It's $8 a month. It's eight bucks a month. There's tons of movies, stuff that my kids love. We love like the old cartoons. They're so good. Like Robin Hood, so good. And on top of that, we have Spotify because like no one uses CDs anymore. This is just kind of obvious, but the way that we don't have CDs and DVDs in our house is via subscription services. We have Disney Plus and Spotify. It's great. It keeps CDs and DVDs out of our house. We don't have to store them. They don't clutter up. They don't get scratched or used as Frisbees. I was not a subscription person. I was not. And even still, like this kind of bugs me that we have these things, but they've been beneficial and they're super cheap and we really like them. Lastly, local small shops or local businesses or small shops, whatever you want to say. I shop at these places weekly and it's usually for groceries. Like we have a market that we go to or like farmer's markets. It is so nice for me to go to a small market and just, I just get the necessities, the things that I need versus a huge store. And sometimes you can go a little crazy and sometimes it can be kind of like dangerous. I like to shop at my local markets with the local food. Like I love local food or like farmer's markets. Like mm, I just love them so much. They're all just fantastic, but being more minimal, we have the money to support these smaller businesses. And also again with quality, we're just getting better quality stuff specifically to food. I guess minimalism opens up your wallet to a bunch of other things because you're like, I'm saving money. I'm not spending money here or there. I've always wanted to do something like this. I've always wanted to buy food like this. So here's my chance and I'm gonna do it. It benefits us huge body wise. It benefits our community because we're putting money right back into, oh my goodness, this tan line. Do you see this? <laughs> oh my word. It goes back into our community. I think it's important. I never shopped like very local or like small business before becoming a minimalist. And now our wallet has kind of opened a little bit. And then again, doing more research into like the food industry, realizing there's some good things and there's some bad things. So shopping local is a very safe place for us to be careful and safe. And it's just great to put our money right back into these small businesses in our area. All right, you guys, that was it. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this. I hope it made sense. I don't know why. I just feel like this video may have not made sense. Makes sense in my head. I think that that's not all that matters because I'm making this video for you guys, but still, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more minimalism content. Some declutters coming up. It's gonna be so fun. So thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.